Dang it. The Brazos River stretches 1,240 miles. Starting in the Blackwater Draw in Curry County, New Mexico, the Brazos meanders a winding path through Texas to the Gulf of Mexico. So much so that Spanish explorers originally thought they were crossing many different rivers. We discovered this river in the mid-90s, exploring only 20 miles of it over and over again with staff and campers from Camp Carter YMCA in Fort Worth, Texas. Summer camp is over for us, but we've continued to return to this beautiful landscape for the last 25 years. There's not much of a current to speak of, and only two or three areas that could be called rapids. There's usually a nasty headwind, and it's 100 degrees outside when we like to go. Come along for a few days and see the Brazos from our point of view. My challenge is to get all of this inside this. Ooh, shit. I have immediate concern. <laughs> <laughs> we had quite a few concerns as I got her up to 60 and then 70. What happened? Nothing. It, it's kind of loud in here though. Well, it, it's catching all that updraft. You're looking very sweaty. <laughs> <laughs> about what you see everything on the boat and left of the boat actually goes in the boat okay good <laughs> Nice and easy. Okay, nice and easy. Here nice we go. Alright. Off again. Straight the back. <laughs> we went back to a lot of jackets and <laughs> the, the, we got a bunch originally of our non-essential. <sighs> yeah. This might be a record number of items on the trip, but some of it is filming here. Yes, <laughs> but if you take that away. <laughs> if there was ever a year where Matt couldn't do this, we would be screwed. Oh, I know. <laughs> well, just for, let's just talk this out. What? Okay, canoe, what canoe and kayak are flying down the highway. <laughs> what did I? What do we do? End over end. Oh end no! Coming traffic. I say we just keep driving. I'm just. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that, that's that's a given. We're out of here. What's the extra stuff that I'm bringing? I can't. I will. We'll go through it. We'll go item by item as we pull it out. <laughs> okay, the sailing stuff is silly. But for that five seconds that I have a wind, it's really <laughs> it's so <fun>. worth it. <laughs> we have five coolers. Uh, yeah, one of them is just carrying ice. <laughs> in, in case we run out of ice. Uh, does it have dry ice in it? It does. Okay. Oh, okay. It's the day of and the King Brothers are on the way. I'm packing one ice chest that I'm not going to open until day three. So you see all these advertisements about these fancy ice chests that keep stuff cold for seven days, but if you read the fine print, that's under normal conditions. By day three in Texas, when it's 100 degrees outside, uh, you may not have any ice. One of the things is I don't like a bunch of water floating around in the ice chest when it's you know, starting to warm up, so uh, we freeze water bottles. Uh, we also, just side note, quit using single-use plastic bottles on our trip. And these 
or paper with a plant-based plastic. So they biodegrade or um, can be recycled. Yay, Earth. All right, so there's a good layer <laughs> of ice. I don't care that much about food. I really just like having ice on the third day that I can use for drinking or whatever, but I am gonna throw some stuff in there. Day three, fancy bacon. Uh, this is our evening. These are some hobo packs that I made for the evening of day three, because we'll be tired. The less dead space in there, the longer it's gonna last, because just open air, very bad. So the last thing I'm gonna put in, just because I uh, thought it'd be fun, is I got this little Bluetooth thermometer to tell me how it's going. It says right now we're at 81 degrees. It's a little warm in the house. And this will help me keep track of what's going on in there on the trip. Oh, I forgot, I am gonna top it off with some dry ice. And you put the dry ice on top because cold air goes down. All right, I gotta hurry, they're on their way and they'll make fun of me if I'm not ready. I think I counted and I was making a list that this is gonna be my 25th trip. Yeah, I, I've, I've tried to count and I know there's probably a couple years that I haven't gone, but I've gone almost every year since I was 12. But wasn't there some trips you went more than once during the year? Or is it always just once a year? You know, I don't know. I wanna say it's, I've only gone once a year. And I skipped a bunch of years, but I know there were some summers when I first started doing it that I went four times in the summer. Wow. And yeah, like 95 was the first year that I did it. That's hurt his back. I have hurt my back. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. I'm down. So I'm gonna be taking drugs. <laughs> <laughs> There didn't sound like very many in there. There's not. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be drinking with them. <laughs> Michael, what are you going to make us for dinner? I brought some uh, tablitas. I don't know what that is. What uh, is it? I don't know. A tablita? Ta tablitas. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, so don't put that in there. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, It's rib. <laughs> I'm not sure if Why do you touch your ribs when you tell me what? <laughs> it's, it's these. <laughs> Are they human ribs? <laughs> I'm not sure if they're beef or pork, honestly. Uh, it's some sort of animal. Well, you're touching your own side, so <laughs> I'm going to eat something else. All right, it's 1133. How long do you think you guys will take in there? <sighs> you are buying a gun. We are buying a gun. <laughs> I'm gonna try and buy a gun. You don't need to buy a gun. But you don't need to do a lot of things. Park in the tightest spot with all this gear we have. <laughs> Trying to infringe my rights? <laughs> huh? There they go. See you in an hour. As I was saying, we all make fun of me for the amount of gear. Y'all sure bring a lot of food. Food. Essentials. Essentials. Necessities. Donuts in a cardboard box. <laughs> Those are for now. For now. <laughs> what is this giant pineapple for? That's for the river. Those are snacks. We also got a watermelon. As I predicted, that was one hour <laughs> at Walmart. That's all, That's all I wanted to say. That's all I wanted to say.
Okay, we are T-minus five minutes from unloading all the stuff that Matt brought. And we're going in the right direction. Because I'm going to edit this to look like you bring way too much stuff. <laughs> Can there be like an 80s montage of us unloading all this stuff? Yeah, and then a right. sand volleyball scene. Yeah. What was that guy who was part? I didn't see him. But I'm recording if he pulls you over. Okay. And we're gonna I'm recording you, this. We're going to make you pay. You don't have to tell him. It's a one party consent law in Texas. You don't think he would see that? It doesn't matter if he sees it. We should bring all our cameras out. <laughs> Get multiple angles. Sir, we need to deploy a drone. Would you hold on a second? <laughs> It's for your safety as well as ours. <laughs> There we are, recording stuff. Here we are. This is what it's all about. Yeah, you know, who wouldn't want to watch this? <laughs> <laughs> Artsy shot. You know, I, I live in Texas. Chris lives in Texas. I see Chris um, uh, quite a bit. Um, Matt, who is my brother, he lives in New Mexico. And I only see him a couple times a year. And so th this one trip is a time to reconnect. And um, all three of us are very different. And we, we have very different, um, you know, day to days. Um, but we come here and we're, you know, we pick up every year as if, um, as if we hadn't skipped a beat and, and there's something beautiful about that. There's a symphony of sounds that goes on from the cicadas and the the breeze, the wake of the boat splashing up against it. It's a great time. Uh, we all met at summer camp. And that's where we first started doing this trip. It was a camp activity. You'd go out and do the 20 miles and you'd do it in one night and it was hard work. So now we, st so then we stretched it to two nights, but now we make it three nights. So we just kind of piddle around. But it's still hard work. And as I may have said earlier, anyone I tell about this, they don't ever say that sounds fun. See, that sounds awful because it is really hot there's not really rapids there's a few the river is more like a long lake because you're working the whole time sometimes the water's coming at you because of a headwind About an hour in. About an hour in, headed downstream. <laughs> Head downstream, nice. be where we're Upwind. Headed. Upwind, downstream. I like Simply Nature pepper jerky <laughs> when I'm on the river. <laughs> when I need jerky, I reach for a bag of Simply Nature. <laughs> Ha <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, no, that oh. Get the shot. Yeah, I got it. Get the shot. The shot of what? The bird taking off. Oh, is he going to take off? Oh, he's going to take off. You're gonna have to throw beef jerky at him for the shot. So it got dark kind of quick on us. We had to pull off the river earlier than we wanted. Ground's pretty uneven. These three trees that I've eyeballed are easily 30 feet apart from the widest one. So we're gonna see how our new chinsaw team sets up. Well, so uneven ground. Trees are pretty, pretty far apart. But, uh, I think this is gonna be nice. I'll show it in a prettier space tomorrow. I know the spot I want to use. It's a two-person tent, but um, it's just gonna be me. Sorry, guys, and your cots. Okay. <laughs> First day. What went right? What went wrong? <laughs> well, we forgot a bunch of stuff. Towels. Paper towels. Paper towels. Trash bag. Plate. Trash bag. One, pl <laughs> one plate. Yeah. Tequila and whiskey. I think we know it was the most tragic. Paper towels. You ready to say that? Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I forgot my toothbrush. Yeah? That's gonna be fun. And then, I was just gonna admit, making a show while we do something that's hard is harder than I thought it was gonna be. Not for me. Not for <laughs> you. Well, bugging me. First day. It was kinda rough. Forgot a bunch of stuff. It's harder to make a video and do all the camping stuff at the same time. We'll see how tomorrow goes. Give me the skinny on that French toast. <laughs> <laughs> We just cooked all the way through. Um, if you, uh, it was cooked all the way through. If that, by definition, you <laughs> meant it was a very soggy piece of bread. <laughs> oh shit! Oh! Woo! <laughs> that was a little. 